sudden uh, Greg Burke had tweeted about uh, the fact that at this time of transition in Vatican communications, Paloma and I feel it's best that the Holy Father is completely free to assemble a new team. We're looking at now almost five years that the Vatican has been revolutionizing, working to reform its communications, and this is a particularly challenging year. We have no details on why this resignation has happened. Later on, uh, we just received the bulletin explaining that the Pope accepted it. The director, uh, the new prefect of all Vatican communications reform, Paolo Ruffini, the first lay person to ever be a pre prefect of a Vatican dicastery, seemed surprised by it. He had said that I have no choice to accept their uh, and respect their decision um, that was taken autonomously and freely. But um, at this point, we just know that Alessandro Giazzotti, a longtime journalist of Vatican Radio and the head of all social media for the Vatican, will be serving as the interim director. And what we also are aware of is that this year, too, 2019, will be full of major events that communications are going to be essential to manage. During this challenging time, we have the upcoming summit on sexual abuse and the protection of minors in February, in addition to various papal trips and many, many expectations. So we're hoping to learn more about the reasons for this and more importantly, what's to come.